This is Architecture Minute and I'm Michael Knorr. Sometimes architects get way too serious and get into deep philosophical arguments about uh, architectural principles. Guilty as charged. But secretly, we sometimes enjoy architecture that we're not supposed to like. Architecture that is just pure fun. The work of Morris Lapidus falls into this category. It is one of my guilty pleasures, which I'll share with you right now. Morris Lapidus started his career in New York as a retail architect. His designs had an intuitive understanding of marketing techniques using attention-grabbing details that appealed to the public. After 22 years operating in this arena, he was asked to be a hotel doctor for several hotel projects in Miami, all on Collins Avenue. He quickly became an expert in hospitality design. His hotels were enthusiastically received by the public. In 1952, he was asked to design the project for which he is best known, the 1200-room luxury hotel, the Fontainebleau. This was followed by the Eden Rock in 1955 and the Americana in 1956. Along with creative neon signage, his architecture employed sweeping curves, floating ceilings with indirect lighting, and walls and ceilings pierced with circles and amoeba-shaped openings. And, especially notorious, the famous Stairway to Nowhere in the Fontainebleau that led only to a coat check and ladies' restroom on the mezzanine. But, understanding the theatricality of architecture, he created an opportunity for wealthy women to make a dramatic entrance, floating down the curved stairway, back in the day when people actually dressed with elegance and grace. His style was dubbed Neo-Baroque, a left-handed compliment to be sure. When establishment architects weren't ignoring his work, it was attacked as gaudy and kitsch. And it certainly is the opposite of Mies van der Rohe's Less is More. But Lapidus's modern tropical style was and is loved by the public. It is joyful, fearless, and downright fun. In a counter to his critics, Morris Lapidus titled his autobiography, Too Much is Never Enough. 